Hello, hello, hello dolls. It is I, Artwork of DR, you know your girl. And I would just like to start today's video off with a quick little announcement. If you didn't already know, I do now have a Ko-Fi shop. And I would be more than happy if you could please consider supporting me there. The things that I do on my Ko-Fi right now is I do have seven mini paint palettes, four or half hand sets, and three or four. 14 half pan sets. I also have my original, my mystery original postcards that are listed up there as well. And I am also doing a commission on there as well. And the commission that I'm doing as of right now that I'm offering is a digital mini me cutie. It is your own little avatar persona kind of thing where I can do a few different styles. I have a few different options on there and we can talk about it and make it very personalized for the buyer. Um, so yeah, those are my announcements. I know that's not a lot and you know, that's okay, but I just wanted to start it off with the announcements just to get them out of the way and to let you dolls know what I am up to. Okay dolls, so a little bit about this painting. This painting is called Bite Me Bay. It is basically a vampire girl. <laughs> I have been inspired a lot with green haired characters and this was kind of my attempt at a hairstyle that I was trying to do for myself and I don't know why but this is just how inspiration comes to me sometimes. This is on a very large piece of Canson mixed media paper. I sketched it out with a cool race purple pencil. Uh, I love those pencils. They're amazing. It does change a little bit, like the bracelets over there on her wrist are going to change from two small bracelets to one big bracelet. And that's not because I couldn't paint those. It's just, I don't know, it didn't feel right. But anyway. So this painting I did when I was first building my pastel slash vibe set of wash paints. Uh, these paints are, almost all of them are mixed with white. Some of them I have handmade and other ones I have bought from other brands. If you guys want more detailed information about that, you guys can always comment or ask me questions. I would love to give you that information. I think I've also had a few videos of me building this palette. Um, I don't, this palette has been a very personal thing for me. So it's one of my favorite things to paint with and I'm still learning how to blend paints together. That's what this painting really did for me. All I'm doing here in the beginning of this painting though is I am laying down some base colors. I just wanted to get a feel for what I wanted. So I just kind of put down a purple background went in with the color color, the skin color, and I'm gonna definitely go back over these many, many times to get the look I want. What I've learned with this set is that blending can be very much a hard thing, but an easy thing all at the same time sometimes. Just depends on the look that you're going for. You definitely, if you mix a color, mix plenty of that color. So that way you do not accidentally use the wrong color and have to re-blend all your work together. So this piece is actually pretty old now and I'm just now getting around to putting it all together for you because my life is my life and I get busy and I get sidetracked and I have lots of projects going on. I hope that doesn't bother anybody. <laughs> Um, I try my hardest to get stuff out on my YouTube channel, but as a mother of three and dealing with medical things, um, both myself and with my children and now with my husband, it can take a toll. So I apologize if you haven't seen me in quite a while with a real video. I am trying now dolls. I have left this video quite of a longer video. For you dolls just to show you how much work can go into one of these paintings for me especially since I am a hands-on learning artist where 
every piece that I do, I'm still technically learning skills. And I'm processing different ways of how to get the look that I see inside my mind. Um, speed paints only show you a sped up version. And it, these paintings take days, hours, sometimes way longer than those. Um, especially if I'm learning how to do a technique and I have to go over the same area a few different times to get that look. Then it's just how the process is. But... Um, I don't mind that in art because I feel like I said I feel like every piece teaches me something so working through the process really does encourage me to keep learning I use everything that I learn in every single piece and the next pieces that come after it so learning how to work with a gouache like material where some colors dry darker than they appear and others will dry lighter learning how to cope and deal with that and fix it in the moment really was a challenge but i do so so much enjoy this palette i learned that with this piece and i learned that with another piece that i did also in the, around the same time as this one where i actually did the same piece twice one with this palette and one with a different palette which i will be hoping to upload within the next month or two for you dolls it's been a very long time coming it's just hard to get my words out when it comes to uh, expressing things especially when I feel so passionately about them and I don't want it to come off the wrong way so it has taken me a very long time but anyway I'm gonna let you dolls just enjoy this footage because this painting comes together so nicely I feel um, she doesn't have a real name but the piece is called bite me bay uh, she has a tattoo on her chest she is a vampire she won't have teeth. You won't see the teeth. She's licking blood off her finger. Um, she's kind of like a punk biker vampire chick who's just having fun. Uh, if you guys want to see me work on designing her as a full character from head to toe, that would be nice to know in the comments too. Uh, I don't know if she has a matching bottom or if it's going to be a black leather skirt kind of situation because uh, I don't want everything to be too matchy-matchy but I do really like this character a lot I do like this piece the painting was a lot of fun for me and I hope that you'd all see just how much work goes into one of these paintings by the end of the video and inspires you to try some gouache and some pastel colors because I mean it's a vibe and uh, don't also don't you dare forget to keep those creative juices flowing because you dolls know I will I'll see you next time, because this time is over.